Oink, who was a Timbuktu pig, was also the postman. Morning, Oink. Morning, Bar. I got a letter for you. He was also very greedy. For apples. Oh, I do like apples. They're my most favourite food in the whole world. Oh, good morning, Oink. Morning, Wolf. I got a letter for you. Wherever Oink went. Good morning, Oink. Morning, Trumpet. He just helped himself. He couldn't resist it. If there were apples to be had, Oink had them. Ooh, scrumptious. So you can guess what Oink had for supper each night. Count you. Sixty-six apples. And you can guess what I dreamed about each night, can't you? Apples, lonely, scrumptious, juicy apples. <laughs> well, as you can imagine, everyone in Timbuktu got very fed up with it. I'm fed up to the back teeth with Oink eating my apples. You're fed up with it. I'm fed up to the front teeth with it. What about Oink? He's completely fed up with our apples. Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Shh. There's no use complaining about it. Something has to be done. Everyone agreed. I could agree. Something had to be done. But no one could think what to do. Until Hoot had an idea. Who knows what this is? Looks like a balloon to me. It could be a balloon moo. On the other hand, it could be the biggest apple in the world. The biggest what, did he say? Apple, I think. Looks more like a balloon to me. <laughs> and as Hoot explained his plan, everyone listened very carefully. On the other hand, the biggest apple. And when he'd finished, which will probably do the trick, I imagine. They all agreed it was the best plan they'd ever heard. That is the best plan I've ever heard. The next day, when Oink was delivering his letters, as usual. Morning, Oink. Morning, Bar. I got a letter for you. Everyone came to see if Hoot's plan would work. Oh, heavens. That must be the biggest apple in the world. Oink opened his piggy mouth and got ready to take the biggest oink-sized bite of his life. Except he didn't. Instead, he got the biggest fright of his piggy old life. Oink ran home as fast as he could. Morning, Oink, like an apple. No, thank you. Morning, Oink, like an apple. No, thank you. And when he got home, he ran upstairs and hid under the bedclothes. Oh, it was horrible. 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 <gasps> Until eventually he fell asleep. And you know what he dreamed about. The biggest apple in the world. Ooh, scrumptious.